business is going to continue to recover. With the rate move, what we're really watching is the mortgage side of the business. Mm -hmm. That's really the most sensitive to interest rates, especially uh, to the 10-year and the big jump. We are expecting stable volumes next year. Could there be some downside risk to that if rates continue to go higher? So, Walter, turning to you quickly, we're going to hear from Jamie Dimon coming up. Our colleague Luke Kawa was mentioning he is, shall we say, a strong voice out there in the banking world. What do you need to hear from him to make you more enthusiastic about J.P. Morgan? Yeah, I'm just I'm really interested to hear what what Jamie has to say about you know the guidance going forward and what he's seeing currently given the volatility that we've had over the past week. I really don't care so much about the the prior quarter. It's really more about the outlook. Mm -hmm. Are they seeing any changes in uh, fundamentals there? Good stuff. Allison Williams of Bloomberg Intelligence. We'll see you in the next hour. Walter Todd of Greenwood Capital will be sticking with us. And stay with Bloomberg Television later today. We're going to have an interview with John Shrewsbury, Wells Fargo CFO. That's coming up at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. And coming up in just a moment, we just heard from the value guy, but do you want to be buying growth? We'll ask Keith Parker, UBS head of U.S. Equity Strategy. This is Bloomberg.